Currently in Australia, we have over 50 to 60,000 Assyrians. Assyrians are the indigenous people of Mesopotamia. They had a wonderful relationship with Arabs and with Syrians. There were no issues at all. Their neighbours were different um, ethnicity, different religion, and they were like one close-knit family. Mainly our uh, homeland is um, divided uh, currently between four countries, Syria, Iraq, uh, Turkey and Iran. They were never recognized as the indigenous people of the land. They were always identified as a Christian Arab or Christian Kurds. In 2013, another wave of Islamic fanatism started in the region. Their attacks was against the Christian in Iraq. They had to flee and seek refuge into Australia and any other um, countries. I came here about close to 20 years ago, I was about six years old. For the first 10 years of our lives, not many people knew who Assyrians were. Growing up in Australia, we still do keep our roots and our culture and traditions alive. It's so easy for us to lose our own identity by losing the language. Because the Assyrians don't have a homeland, we have nothing but our language. If that dies out, what will keep us alive? It's crucial to our survival. People are waking up and seeing what's happening to us back in the Middle East. Sometimes I wish the whole world would wake up and you know, fight for our cause. So it's not just the Syrian voice. I wish it was like every single nation fighting for our cause and just like they fight for other causes. It's so important for us to have our independent region and to have recognition from governments worldwide as to who we are as a people. Um, and support from them. And I think those things are just crucial to our survival. At the end of the day, with everything that's happening in Iraq and in the Middle East, we won't be erased from the history books, but we'll be erased from this planet. It's a sad thing to see for a civilization that's close to 7,000 years old.